Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you how to make a very simple and easy to use bird trap because you can't use my trap that I made for any land dino. So this is how you tame any flyer in Ark Survival Ascended. They did modify the creature AI just a little bit. So there's a small change that I have made to traps that I've used in the past. It's very small, but this one seems to work every single time. So if you don't mind, smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel i'm getting close to 100k and that's been my dream all along super close all right so anyways continue what this trap is set up of is literally only gate frames and gate doors right so you need a total of four now the key here is four because with three for some reason the ai model does not like to get stuck inside of three you have to use four now four is perfect by the way, and it, it seems to work flawlessly. It doesn't matter if you put the number two and three directly on top of each other, as long as one and four have some space in the middle, and I'll show you why in just a second, right? So essentially how this trap works, it's a trap that has been used for years on Ark Survival Evolved. You're just gonna aggro whatever's following you into the trap, turn out the side, let it draw it, like let it make it think I can attack you, and then come over here and tap that in order to shut the door. Now, once you shut the door, it'll be stuck on the inside and you're good to go. Now, big key things you wanna be aware of though, is you wanna make sure you open the door inwards, like I did right there, and then that way you can reach it from the side without having to go around the front of your trap. Now, again, you need to be able to fit out this side on the very end, and that's it. That's really the only difficult part of this. It's very simple outside of that. I'll show you how to set it up really quickly. So we're gonna go and do one, and then this one, remember we wanna be able to fit out of this. So I usually just judge it based on like eye sight and just go like that. And then these middle ones, it doesn't matter if you put them right next to each other, you can put them close, you can put them a little further for some extra space. I have found the more space that you can get between these things, the better off you are, because for some reason the AI or the new creature AI doesn't like how do i say this properly if there's only three it doesn't like it if there's four it seems to like it four is that perfect number and the benefit of four using gates like this is you can immediately pick them right back up they do not have to be metal you can use wood or you can use stone it does not matter just so you know and all you have to do gate on one end gate on the other end open this one and that's it and then we'll draw the creature in turn left or right whichever you prefer and then come close that door so i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in an argentavis so you can see what i'm talking about right all right, so we're gonna, I just spawned this Argentavis in so we can pull it. The best way to do this is to kind of get a straight line uh, running into your trap, just so you can see that. We're gonna go ahead and pull this thing onto the inside of the trap. We're gonna let it attack us once. We're gonna go ahead and close that door, and then we're gonna go ahead and just sit here. And it works just like that every single time. If it's an Argentavis, make sure you aim for the head because you do the increased headshot torpidity and it will knock it out pretty much right away. Now, the benefit of this trap, you can use it as many times as you want, as many birds as you can fit in here, you can use it. So I'll go ahead and show you again, right? So spawn another Argentavis in, let's say I accidentally get two. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy and we're gonna go ahead and run into our trap. He is right about in, we're gonna go ahead and kind of bring him in. He's on the side, we close the door and we have another one in there. So we can trap two Argentavis in there. And again, you can do it like this over and over and trap as many as you can fit. So you can walk over the top of them and that's why I really like this one um, because there's some other traps that kind of like pin you into a certain, you can only do one at a time. There's an unlimited number of Argentavis that you can do in this. Again, I guess not technically unlimited, but you have to be able to have a little bit of space and we're gonna go ahead and pull them in here, close that door and then you can see, oh, he got out, oops. It must be maybe two is a little bit pushing it to have a third one but if you don't get them that time all you have to do is do exactly what i'm doing right now pull them back out pull this guy into our trap come on buddy thank you and again the easy way to do is let him attack you one time and then he'll get stuck right and that's it so now we've got three argentavis you can see the point um now that is how you do this it's very simple we've stacked three argentavis on top of each other and tamed all three of them without much of a problem if you wanted to aggro something like a pteranodon or something like that, you could eat rare flowers and then go into this trap. But the easier way for a pteranodon is just to use Ebola and then shoot them in the head because one couple of trank arrows to the head for a pteranodon will knock them out every time. So that's it. That's all you got to do in order to tame a flyer. So hopefully this video helps you out and teach out.